Welcome to the information bulletin for much awaited CUET Common University's entrance test the PG post graduation examination is out uh, so this information bulletin is around 266 pages but don't be afraid most of the pages show the guidelines how do you need to fill the form the last many pages show which university what is the eligibility criteria for various programs now what you need to remember is in one slot you can select only one examination the examination would be held across 10 days and every day there would be two slots that means maximum of 20 exams you can apply but you need not to worry on that the most important thing you need to take a note is decide your subjects that you want to appear for and based on the subjects you would see those subjects are on which dates and which slot now each of the slot would be of two hours 100 questions which would be asked in each of the slots and then most importantly there would be a negative marking so be very careful while you are answering your questions now coming on to first of all the list of uh, universities that are part of the system it's important so what we need to understand here is uh, that we have gone through the various uh, lists here and in the index which is start somewhere around 34 pages you would have just a second so it's three four okay so here you would have the common practices and the details that are mentioned now here what you need to understand is all those are the list of examination centers will first come on to what are the universities that are associated to it so the marking pattern how do you fill the form and all those details are available now this is the pattern for the form you need to find out how you uh, actually want to fill the form and then these are the list of universities so as you can see under appendix 7 there are 42 universities and all which are part of this year's uh, CUET PG entrance examination next year probably more universities can join but most of the central universities as you can see few state universities to name uh, and then we also have one deemed university very very important so there is one deemed university the national rail and transport institute which is there and then many uh, state universities which are already part of the system and then most of the others are the central universities and among central universities Jawaharlal Nehru University Banaras Hindu University are already part of it uh, Delhi University this year is not part of the 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 list of universities and AMU is also not part of the list of universities so two universities which are uh, commonly applied by the students not part of the uh, CUET PG examination this year now as I mentioned here you have the various programs and the eligibility criteria laid down by the various universities for admission into that program so note what is very important here is to understand that each of the university defines its own criteria and uh, the own percentage minimum marks for each of the program so let's say this is for education now education across various universities then the next is law so for law across various universities like Central University of Haryana has certain criteria then you have Central University of Kashmir has another criteria so uh, each of the universities have different criteria here it is at least 55% here it is 50% uh, so those are some of the differences in the criteria as you can see okay so this whole appendix from this page towards the end focuses on the list of the programs and the various eligibility now as I said what is the mode of examination that you need to understand is again important now if we come on to the question paper pattern there are three patterns which would be there each pattern against each program is given so for the first program for uh, the PGQ uh, QP1 that's question paper 1 you would have 25 questions on language comprehension 75 questions from the domain on teaching aptitude so this is for education admission to uh, MED programs right then you have uh, all other major programs which would have 75 questions from the domain knowledge now each university while they are recruiting the while they are selecting the candidates they would be taking into account whether they want to consider this whole hundred uh, marks 
and give this a weightage or they only want to have the domain knowledge and they want to give weightage to this 75 marks so that's again an important thing then for some of the uh, subjects we would have domain knowledge for civil engineering mechanical engineering for some other for languages it is specific language the knowledge of specific language for uh, library science management etc the language comprehension data and interpretation and logical uh, reasoning is there and this is for management courses uh, for the courses which relate to uh, M uh, MLib which is uh, library science you have computer basics general knowledge comprehension verbal ability and logical reasoning as some of the uh, uh, questions that would be asked as I mentioned in one slot uh, you can choose one course in one slot the exam would run through 10 days every day two slots so 20 exams are maximum that you can opt for the exam would be in Hindi or English but for uh, the following courses only one course can be selected from the drop down list in the registration form and the entire question paper for uh, the course 5 and the paper 6 for paper 5 it would be English for paper 6 it would be Hindi and only for Sanskrit uh, uh, the those appearing for masters for Acharya Shiksha Shastri and Shiksha Acharya courses the papers would be in Sanskrit language now uh, again, what would be important to note is the list of the courses here. So as you can see, this is how the examination system would be. So the test codes against each of the programs are given and the degree based on which you can apply. Okay. So the courses are English comparative literature, English language in one program, yoga, yoga therapy, yogic sciences, nanotech, nano science, jyotish. Uh, for the National Sanskrit University and the Central Sanskrit University. Then you have Mathematics, Music, Sports, Physiology, Architecture and Power Engineering. Uh, courses related to uh, Sciences, Life Sciences, Botany. Uh, those who have M uh, who want to go for MSc, MTech or PG Diploma courses would have to apply for it. Then Masters in Performing Arts. Uh, geography, electronic science, commerce, taxation, statistics, fine arts, anthropology, uh, embedded systems and technologies, uh, then it's economics, specialization in world economy, energy economy or financial economy, all of those uh, courses are available and based on the university you would either get MSc, MA, MSc or uh, BA degrees with those, uh, then you have museology, uh, then uh, Dharma Vinjay, uh, Vijnan, which is at BHU, uh, Ocean and Atmospheric Sciences, Masters of Public Health, Computer Application, uh, Shabda Bodh Systems, Geoinformatics, Physical Education, History, Ancient Separately, uh, then you have Dharmshas, Journalism, Sociology, Vyakaran at BHU. So some of the courses are available only at specific universities and uh, the degree that you would get through these courses is again mentioned. So then for pharmacology and pharma students, lot of courses are there. Uh, so you would have to decide which slot. The best thing is across all slots there has been a varied combination which has put so there is one from uh, humanities one from social sciences one from sciences so that even a student of science can opt for more than one subject across the various courses so that's the best part of it then you have the general paper for language comprehension which is required for various uh, ma programs masters in vocational and masters of library science uh, education programs for shiksha Shastri or Shiksha Acharya as B.A. Demet programs. Uh, then you have separate education uh, for M.A. and B.A. So note what you want to get as a degree and which universities entertain which course is again important. So based on the universities, you would have to opt for it. Okay. Similarly, we have uh, various courses on energy, painting, biotechnology, biochemistry, uh, special education, botany chemistry, uh, then the various languages under PG-60, uh, then there is social work, Sanskrit, psychology, uh, environmental science, various courses related to history, um, masters of performing arts. So only BHU and applicable courses of Hemvati Nandan Bhagua, Bhaguna Garwal University, Srinagar and Hari Singh God Vishwavidyalaya uh, are there for those where you have this asterisk mark. 
okay so that's how we understand this uh, this uh, slot division so you have to decide on which courses you actually want to apply for based on your subject in your graduation so let's say my subject in the graduation was bsc now i did my bsc with botany uh, uh, botany chemistry and physics let's say now what all subjects can i apply for so i can choose a list of subjects i can use uh, nanoscience i can use biotechnology i can have biology uh, i can have botany zoology i can go for uh, chemistry physics so there are various options that i can apply for now for each option that i want to apply i would also see the universities which is there after page 81 in this notification so you would go through the university list and see the eligible criteria what all the students are eligible for which program and based on the eligibility if, if you are eligible for the program you would fill those subjects but definitely do not fill a lot of subjects you need to prepare for subjects nicely so uh, two to three four to five subjects are fine uh, some of the students fill a lot of subjects just to find a good university so definitely good university matters but again good course and your specialization also matters so this was just an introduction uh, lecture which we have discussed on the notification and the bulletin the syllabus is available here based on the syllabus uh, and the detailed guidelines the questions and practice solutions would be available on door step tutor cuet pg section in the coming days wish you very good luck uh, if you have any questions any doubts please, please feel free to post those in the comment section we'll be more than happy to answer your doubts wish you very good luck thanks a lot